Okay, um, good afternoon, children of the Most High. This is Brother Chukwemeka again. <coughs> and children of God, I just did a video on the on why our people need to abandon Christianity. You see, in Igbo land, there's a proverb that says, "The child of a snake can never be shot. A snake can never give birth to anything that is shot." And that is very important, actually, because what that means is that something that is good cannot consistently bear bad fruit. Something that is also bad cannot consistently bear good fruit. It's not possible. That's not the way nature works. We should not forget the words of our ancestors, of our elders. You see, children of God, our ancestors did not have flash drive. They did not have computer. They, the only way they could store their knowledge, their wisdom, their information for future generations is in the proverbs, the words that the stories that they told our people, our children, their children which, who are our fathers. That's how they store the knowledge. And Igbo word, Igbo proverb clearly states that anything that gives birth to something bad is bad. That's just what it means. No. Christianity has been in our communities for more than 200 years. Actually, it's getting close to 400 years that we have Christianity in our communities. How has that changed anything? Look, just take your community, wherever you come from in Ebola, anywhere your village is. Look at your village. Are you guys getting better or getting worse? Some people may give excuses and say, no, the economic situation is bad. Buhari is president now, or internet is not connected. Those are just excuses. Look at the individuals. Are we getting better or are we getting worse? If we are getting worse, that means Christianity that we've adopted is not making us better. And if Christianity is not making us better, that means Christianity is bad. It can't be good. There is nothing that is good that will consistently give birth to something bad. It's not possible. Now, I'm doing this part two of this video. This is going to be a short one because I'll, shortly after I started uploading the first video, a friend of mine sent me something on WhatsApp. Sent me this video on WhatsApp. Now, this my friend is a priest, actually, a Catholic priest. But he sent me this and he said, this is what Christian mothers are doing. Now, these women here, some of you may have seen this video, some, I, I don't really know where it was taken. I suspect in Niger, this is Nigeria, or at least it should be West Africa, just looking at the gates of the individuals. Now, these are, he said that these are Christian women. I don't really know whether they are Christian women, but their attire, the clothes they are wearing look like what Christian mothers usually wear, depending on the church. Now, brothers and sisters, take a look at what our so-called Christian mothers are doing. No, to know God, your eyes did not deceive you. Your eyes did not deceive you. This is what mothers are doing. For those of you who have grandmothers or great grandmothers, show them this video and tell them that this is what women in Igbo land are doing in public and ask me if they will not throw up. So our women are getting worse. Our mothers are getting worse. Look at what mothers are doing in public. Take a look at what women, I will show, I'll, I'll play this video over and over again. Look at what they are doing in public. Look at what mothers are doing. Not just one person though. Because none of them here, the people that are standing by, none of them feel disgusted about this. Not just one person. Almost everywhere the camera pans, you see mothers. This is what they're doing. How do you think our future generation is going to look like? What do you think our children would look like? Well, what do you think their, the behavior of our children will be if this is how their parents, their mothers, that they are that supposed to teach them right and wrong, if this is what they do? They look at it. This looks like a church. I don't really know, but this is usually what it looks like in a church. And this is how these women are behaving disgustingly. This is the society we now live in because of Christianity, in the name of the Lord. This is what our mothers are doing in the name of the Lord. 
Now, I don't really know the authenticity of this video, whether it's a church or not. And most importantly, I don't really care about this degenerate. But this this very song they are dancing to, when I traveled home this last December, I saw a lot of, they were playing it in one wedding, in one uh, traditional marriage in our community. And this is exactly what I saw. Of course, I didn't video it because I don't have time for degenerates. But this is exactly what children were dancing to. I swear. I swear to you. I don't know if you can hear this song. But that's the song they were dancing to. That's what, they, what you see these women doing, that's exactly what they were doing in my community, my own community. Now, brothers and sisters, have you, do you know that even Muslim women will not do this in public? They will not do this. Muslim, they will not do this in public. Now, I'm not preaching for Muslim here. I'm not preaching for Islam. Let me point that out. Most of you know I've said this over and over again in lots of videos. Christianity and Islam, they are the same thing. It's just they are brought by the same people. Okay, it's, a, it's an instrument of conquest. Most people that vehemently support Christianity and Islam, if you look at their intellect, they have very poor intellect. Because it's not reasonable. People who are smart will not be supporting something that they know or that they can clearly see is an instrument of war. Okay? But Muslim women, even them, will not do this. Talk, not to talk of traditional women in any tradition, they won't do this in public. But this is what mothers are doing, Christian mothers are doing. It doesn't matter the denomination. This is what they are doing in public. And you think we are getting better because in the name of the Lord. You think we are getting better. No, we are not. We have to abandon this ship, otherwise we will sink with it. So, for 500 years, we've, for close to 500 years, we've experimented with Christianity. Our community is not getting better, it's getting worse. Is it when it's completely rotten that we now wake up? Why are we still being deceived? Why are we still hanging on to this thing that is killing us? Why? Look at what our mothers are doing. How many of you growing up saw your mother doing this kind of thing? How many of your grandmothers can remember doing this kind of thing in public? But this is what our community is, that people can do this in a public gathering. And you think our community is going to get better. How is it going to get better? How are you going to get a nation of yourself? How are you going to have Biafra if, you are filled, if your people are filled with sexual degenerates? Don't you know that sexual degeneracy is the number one reason people are irresponsible? The number one reason people are irresponsible is due to sexual degeneracy. In fact, if you want to conquer a nation, you, de you destroy their sexuality, you make them sexual degenerate. They, you have completely conquered those people. If you don't believe me, in 2012, the nation of Israel invaded Palestine for the opt-in time, and they will, when uh, between the hours of, and I don't know, between the hours of maybe 10 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the afternoon, they were showing porn, so that they will destroy the morality of the Palestinians. They know that when you destroy the morality of the people, you conquer them permanently. This is what we live with in the name of Christianity. When we were, when we had the Levites in our communities, when we had the native doctors, the DPS, the people, the Omenani, that, take, that took care of our morality, our people, will our mothers be behaving like this? Will our mothers be this disgusting in public? But look at what we are seeing in the name of the Lord. You can't hang on to a, a sinking ship. Even the white people that brought you the religion, they have given it up. So why don't you look at your tradition and go back to your tradition so that you can rebuild your community. You cannot rebuild your community based on the book of a white man, based on what the white man gave to you. You cannot do that. Well, this will be a siren. This will be a, a warning to people, to our generation. This is what our community is turning into. And more importantly, a lot of people are profiting from this. Those who are not able, these criminals that you call pastors, they are profiting from this. It's shameful. I hope this is not able, and I, I, I sincerely hope. But like I said, I saw this even in my own community, so I can't really cross my fingers on that one. The truth of the matter is, is this is what the children of Jacob have deteriorated to. This is what the children of Abraham have deteriorated to. And we have Christianity as our moral guide. It's not possible. 
you're practicing Christianity. I mean, the Pope just was it yesterday? It was published that the Pope said there is no hell; that those who sin will just disappear. And you're still on going on to this thing. What kind of craziness is this? Where in the Bible is it stated that there is no punishment for sin? But the Pope vehemently can tell you that there is no hell. And he knows that he won't lose one member because all of you are completely hypnotized. You will still follow him no matter what he says. That's why he told you to apologize to homosexuals and you, none of you stop going to church. Now he's telling you there's no hell. None of you will st stop going to church as well. Why? Because you're completely hypnotized. Your hypnotization is complete and it's done. Children of God, have the courage to walk away from this demonic association that you call Christianity. Have the courage to walk away from it. It is a demonic thing. Believe me, it is. May the most high bless you. Shalom.